Taxes were also on the table of the transition team today, particularly those currently unpaid in the underground economy. Increasing collection has been one of the strategies to avoid raising direct taxes on citizens. Another transition team subcommittee also discussed ways to ease sanctions on North Korea to mend economic ties. Arirang's Hwang Jie has the details. Korea's tax burden ratio could rise two percentage points to 21 percent as the Park Geun-hye administration enters office. Her transition team said Wednesday that this would be possible by raising the country's immense underground economy from beneath the tax radar. The nation's tax burden ratio, which currently stands at 19 percent, falls short of the OECD average of 25 percent. The tax burden ratio indicates the ratio of tax revenues to its gross domestic product. President-elect Park's transition team will likely first tackle fuel fraud, one of the fastest growing areas in the black market. The team expects that measure will secure an estimated 500 billion won, or roughly 470 million U.S. dollars in tax revenue. The National Assembly's Special Committee on Budget and Accounts has also allocated around $6 million in this year's budget for building a system to crack down on illegal fuel. Members of the transition team dedicated to defense and foreign affairs, meanwhile, are considering easing the May 24th measure of the President Lee myung -bak administration. The May 24th measure, a punitive measure that severs economic relations with the North, was an about-face for the South Korean government, from a policy of engagement to one of containment. The measure has been criticized for having negatively impacted South Korean companies that do business in the North. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.